Hey kids, you're about to listen to a comedy podcast. That means that none of this is medical advice. If you need medical advice or medical care, please contact your doctor. Welcome to the Jock Doc Podcast featuring Dr. London Smith. Last week, he had COVID. But I hope y'all are ready because this week, he is back and slightly worse than before. Introducing your host, Dr. London Smith. Hello, and welcome to the Jock Doc Podcast, where we discuss fitness and health, and how to incorporate our modern understanding of science and medicine into our daily lives, but without it being so boring. I'm your host, Dr. London Smith. Com. I would like to begin by apologizing to our listeners. We received some feedback about the excessive amount of technical medical terminology that I've been using, such as accelerated junctional rhythm and daylight savings. So I'll try to temper my terminology to a simpler one in the future. Here to help with that is our producer, Cameron. <sighs> Dr. London, hey. Sorry, I'm in, I'm in a bit of a mood right now. Can I, can I just explain why I'm so peeved off, Dr. London? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's Oscar season once again. Oh. And you know when it's Oscar season that I've got opinions. I've got rants. I've got things I've got to say. Yeah. Because, ooh, I look at these nominees and everything, and I just get, ooh, I get mad, Dr. London. Well, are, I get mad. Are you planning on doing your... Your marathon Twitch stream where you just rant for full 24 hours? My Oscar rant, yes. I'm going to do that for 48 hours. 48? Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's for a charity. Um, the charity, it's sort of a mystery charity. No one knows where it goes. Even I don't know. Um, but that's sort of the fun of it. Okay. I guess that is fun. Let me just do a preview, right? Like just a little bit of my annual Oscar rant. All right. Okay, here we go. These movies these days, Dr. London, I'm sorry. Everyone's going to get so mad at me for voicing this true opinion, but every single movie is the exact same. Okay, and this is so strange because normally, like, this is a preview, but I don't, I don't even know how. We're getting a lot of chat messages complaining about your... Uh, ch- like what you're saying right now. Yeah, they're furious. People are people are going to be mad. I understand that I'm going to be stepping on toes, Doctor yeah. London. But it's every single movie is the exact same. When I go to the theater, I know exactly what I'm going to expect because it's always the exact same. Can you tell me, Doctor London, why is every single movie these days just shadows on a cave wall? Okay. When I look at my cave wall and see these shadows, I. I ju- I'm just like, I've already seen this before. Oh, you think everything's already been done. That's your opinion. Everything has absolutely been done. I'm sorry. I, I, the, the power of the dog, it's just shadows yeah. on my cave wall, Dr. Yeah. London. There's, there's nothing else going on. I look at King Richard. There's, there's nothing happening except for just more shadows on my cave wall. And I just think back to when I was a kid. And it was different. I mean, okay, as a kid, yes, were movies also shadows on a cave wall? For sure. Absolutely. Always have been. But it was, a, it was different. It had meaning. It had texture. It had actual depth. These days, all it is, I'm just looking at my cave wall, and it's just these shadows moving back and forth. And, that's, and you can maybe see the outline of a human, maybe see sometimes the outline of a horse. Look, and I, ah. I just, I'm sorry. I, you want to save it for the Twitch stream for one thing, but also like, People are furious in the chat right now. Like, I, you just, I, let's keep that separate from it's the just, podcast. I, I knew people were going to get mad, right? Because that's, you know, a Scorsese, like, said stuff about Marvel and all these people saying things about how Marvel movies are all the same. And I'm sorry, but it is objectively true. I, if I go see Spider-Man, or if I go see Captain Marvel... Or if I go see Doctor Strange, all I'm seeing is just shadows on my cave wall, Doctor London. No, I know, and it's 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 part partly I think how you're raised, and like you also only see. I feel like nostalgia affects your opinions to a large extent. No, th- I don't think so. I don't. Th- I think it was just different back in my day. It was just different. I, you know what? I, I guess agree to disagree, and you know, you will have your platform when the time comes. But for now. I, let's just, I, we gotta move on. I'm sorry. I, oh, you think we're just gonna like lose so much of our audience just for s- telling actual truths? Yes. I just, I can't, most of the time when you that tell That maybe your licorice truths, pizza is, isn't is this sort of genius take okay, on Paul Thomas okay. Anderson's growing up in LA in the 70s, but really it's actually just shadows on my cave wall. 
I mean, come on. So, so that, that's our producer, Cameron, and he's going to keep this contained to his Twitch channel. Uh, but also with us is Did you do in the house? Somebody said it's a new season And then they called it the spring If you were in my position Would you still find I'm the same? Somebody said And later, Cameron tells me we can expect a really special guest. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, as far as I know, the guest might also be Shadows on a Cave Walk. This is another guest invited via you looking at... T- okay, okay. Anyway, before we move on, I would like to address a bit of listener feedback. Uh, as our marketing demographics have changed to uh, sort of target... At, sort of how we target, but also the audiences that we've found, um, they, they've been more illiterate consumers um so the nature of the feedback has also changed towards that level of illiteracy so and this is again because you're not going to understand this listener what dr lennon is saying is that you who are listening to this show cannot read or write and you already know that but i'm just sort of if you might be confused by some of the large words dr london was saying um, but yeah, this is what the Google Analytics has told us. That's it, it gets really into detail on on literacy. I, I would go so far as to say that they might not be self aware on this. Uh, but oh, as, okay, yeah. you don't think they've even like discovered their own hands yet? I I I don't want to make assumptions. Yeah. Here. But anyway, so the feedback is a hand drawn picture. Uh, so it's a drawing of what appears to be a stick figure with. Uh, Loden written to the side. Okay. Which, which, that, I think it's meant to indicate me, like po- London. Possibly. I need to know the rest of the context, yeah. though. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay. And so that stick figure of what I assume is me uh, is inside the jaws of what looks like a T Rex or some other sharp tooth prehistoric dinosaur. Uh, and that's that's it. Like, it's it's pretty simple drawing. And Well, the teeth, it, they did take the time to make all the little it's, triangles. It's. It, it's you next to a dinosaur is that no, in the mouth in the mouth of, of a dinosaur about to be chomped it looks and like you sure this is you and not loudon wainwright the third who isn't like the dad of rufus and martha wainwright i i i can't be positive okay but based on the spelling especially i'm thinking is well, could you give me more context for that for i know that that's a common reference that everyone's gonna get. Yeah, for but... sure. Loud and Wainwright, uh, uh, pop singer songwriter, and then his okay. kids. You know, Rufus Wainwright and yeah, Martha Wainwright. Yeah. Rufus Wainwright did a sort of a famous cover of Hallelujah. Not like okay. the most famous cover of Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Martha yeah, Wainwright. Definitely. She's on that Snow Patrol song. Okay. Well, okay. So, so it's Their potentially dad. that. Th- their dad being eaten by a dinosaur 
or it's possibly me being eaten by a dinosaur. Considering that they're sending it to us, then I guess it probably is the father of of those pop singers. So, um, I'm yeah, not they're, sh- they're like, like folk, like singer songwriter. Okay. Type. So, and so is he? Yes. So I guess our conclusion, based on that. Well, and now that I'm thinking about it, if he's Loudon Wainwright the third, that means uh-huh. his dad and grandpa are also. It could also be them. Okay, so it's so this could be like maybe a generational complaint. It's um, you know, I'm just obviously I'm just trying to think of how to improve our podcast based on this feedback. Yeah, just statistically and, speaking, now that we know that there's four potential Loudons, like there's only a one in four chance it's referring to you. Okay. You know, I guess I feel better about that because, you know, uh, it looks like they want me to die a pretty painful, sharp, stabby death. Yes. So that's from our, you know, one of our illiterate uh, listeners who potentially wouldn't understand much of it. They understand the feeling that they're trying to convey. And so um, thank you for the feedback. And I guess I'll I'll try to improve. I guess. You can only try. Now for today's medical topic, Gardner syndrome. Gardner syndrome is characterized by a germline mutation in the APC gene resulting in colon cancer in association with osteomas, desmoid tumors, and other soft tissue tumors. Um, in, in patients with Gardner syndrome, there's also a greater incidence of cancer in the thyroid, pancreas, and small bowel. So this is an example of a clinical syndrome that, you know, if you can diagnose it genetically, then we this- can- I mean, this this is more poop stuff. You're you are being less like gross about it, right? Yeah, this is. If this is your first episode listening, Doctor London, the medical lessons for the last like seven years have been entirely about like poopy diarrhea, <laughs> kind of like turning everywhere. Is that about? Is is that right? Yeah. Well, turning everywhere being. I'm glad you're finally using the clinical terminology, but yeah. Uh, sure. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Turbo turning is it's, sort of. So gastrointestinal diseases yeah. is what we've been focusing on, or illnesses, I should say. Uh, anyway, so but anyway, Gardner syndrome is an example of a clinical syndrome that once you know what this reminds me of, though, it's my old granddad. <laughs> he was never given anything. I mean, you know, my parents helped pay th- my way through school and gave me a gave me good food to eat. He, <laughs> my grandpa had nothing like that. Just sort of came from nothing. You know what I mean? Got a job. This reminded you of at that. Twelve, huh? This is this reminds you of that. Yeah. Gardner syndrome does. Well, yeah, you didn't let me finish. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure it'll make and sense. So, he just he's just starting at twelve, right? Middle school, barely, barely, barely any peach fuzz on his on his little mustache upper lip. You know what I mean? And, yeah, I guess. But and he goes and gets a job down at the super target this is three years ago yeah this was like well no this was in like the early 2000s this was complicated by avril lavigne was sort of overplayed by this point does that make sense i i I, in context uh slightly but go go on but he would break his back i mean he would walk two miles just to get to work at the super target Uh uh-huh no help, Dr. Lana. No one's helping. No one's giving him a lift. <laughs> and then when he would get there, he would work his ass off. No complaints. Never complaining. Your grandpa. Yeah. Um, so, and I, I hate to ask at this point, uh, how does this relate to Gardner syndrome? I just want to make sure to touch base. Oh, so he would show up, right? Show, he would walk after walking two whole miles right after work brain still fried from the quiz the pop quiz that he was given that day you know he was never never much of a a school genius never much of a test taker okay okay i i i, I feel like you are just gonna tell me about your grandpa some more Wait, did he garden is that not that i know of I've only we've only met like a couple like a few times. I feel like this is one of those outside the podcast stories. Do you want to can I put a pin in that for a second? And yeah, okay, go ahead. Yeah, sure. Okay. 
So, uh, Gardner syndrome is an example of a clinical syndrome that, once we diagnose it genetically, we can be on the lookout for these other cancers that I mentioned that may have sneaked up on the patient over time, uh, had we not been on the lookout. Um, because of this increased risk for colon cancer, screening for Gardner syndrome begins at the age of 12 with a sigmoidoscopy. And that's, you know, the sigmoid colon. Sigmoid is a squiggly part of the colon towards the end. Yeah, before sure, the sure. Okay. Um, yeah, did... And you know what that reminds me of? Did you... You know what that reminds me of? My, uh... I, my old grandmother. Okay, She's, so we can... Do, do you want to... Let's go maybe move on from there. Only because that guest from your TV might be waiting. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. But let me tell this story first. So my grandmother, right? Never given a damn thing in her in her life. My parents are like, hey, here's a, here's a PlayStation. Here's some new jeans. You, uh-huh. <laughs> you think my grandmother was given a PlayStation? No. She had to work Xbox. her ass off to buy her own PlayStation. Oh, okay. This was so you know, this was also this was in the early two thousands as well. Early two thousands. This was Avril yeah, but this was after complicated. This was really more when the like the damn cold night song or whatever was really big. By Avril. Okay. So um, so I actually finished with the medical lesson here. So oh yeah, know, yeah. You're trying to share these anecdotes to you know help uh, the listeners to you know associate it in their minds with the clinical syndrome. So I get that. Yeah. Uh, but since we're done with the medical lesson, um, do you want to maybe finish up there? Then do you think we're done? Yeah. You, you want me to just finish up the story? Sure. No, no. I uh, so um, we we can we can just maybe move on from there. We'll talk talk, talk about it later, maybe on your Twitch stream as well. All right. Whatever, man. It's your show. <laughs> All right, uh, Cameron, you said that we have a guest today. Is that right? That's right, Dr. London. We have one of the most special guests that we've ever had on this podcast. And this is, so if I remember what you said correctly, this is one of your cave wall shadows? Well, this is just the way my TV is set up. You, you ever seen like those Cisco uh, like office setups where it'll have like webcams hooked up to a TV and stuff so you can... Uh, have a teleconference with with other offices i have that sort of set up and so most of the people i talk to through my tv are come through as sort of just shadows on my cave wall yeah and so i set up this meeting with sort of this blurry figure who was saying sort of dark muffled things and uh, i think that's our guest here today hello welcome hello uh hi hello how are you hi welcome oh, well, yeah you're thank coming you. in so much clearer than on my Cisco system. Oh, nice. Yes. So what brings you here? Uh, and what was your name again? Hi, I'm, I'm William. I am a comedian, but it seems to me that I'm only funny when I'm using other people's jokes or helping other people write. Amazing comedian with your jokes. Terrible comedian with my jokes. Oh. Okay. Oh, wow. And how, how long have you sort of struggled with this... I mean, is this, do you think this is sort of like a mental condition or is, do you think this is some sort of like physical disease or? Oh, I, I'm not the doctor here now, am I? Oh, wow. That is true. And are you the doctor here? That, I, DJ Dylan, am I the doctor? Nope. Okay. Now Cameron gets confused on this every week. So I, I earned my medical doctorate by going to school. Cameron. That actually makes me have a question for you, doctor. Are you better at being a doctor on other people's problems or on your own? Oh, okay. Now, this is a very valid question. Doctors are famously bad patients. Yeah, we, we are not, we're not good at being patients. So it seems I'm kind of like a comedy doctor, if you will. I suppose so. You got me there. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Dr. London, as he talks about this, this sort of uh, either... Oh, wait, wait, I got, hey, hey, interrupt you, Cameron, but are you the comedian here? Because I went to school to get a degree in comedy. Did you? Ooh, DJ Dylan, am I the comedian here? Nope. Okay, this, Karen, that... this always comes up. So you went to school for six years yeah. to learn to dig a hole. Uh, yeah. Well, to make the hole that I had bigger. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, so that's not, I, to my understanding, and I, look, I'm only a comedian doctor, doctor, com- I'm not, remember which order we put You're these in. You're a celebrity but, doctor, comedian. Yeah. Uh, and so, equestrian breeder. What, what, yeah. We've talked about that on the show before, right? Wait, wait, you're not a horse breeder? You're an equestrian breeder? Yeah, I only breed equestrians. I never touch a horse. 
But I, yeah, I'm sorry to put all this attention on on this part of your life, Doctor Lennon. But I mean, William here, he sounds like he's really struggling with something. Is that does this ring any bells to you? Uh, no, that, that's tinnitus. That'd be called tinnitus when you hear the ringing bells in your oh. ears. Uh, I thought tonight is when we're recording this. Okay, no, that's that's all. Oh, this yeah. has been a very confusing episode so far. Okay, so just to just to cross every. Uh, T, maybe dot a few eyes. I do want to address Cameron's question earlier. Is he the comedian? Nope. He is the professional hole digger. Yes. I am the equestrian train uh, breeder. Breeder, that's right. I, I do want to say, because you say professional, no one is paying me to dig this hole. So I'm still an amateur. I've not okay. sold out like you're sort of implying. You're saying that I've sort of gone off the amateur hole digging circuit and gone big time and I'm making yeah. all this money. No, this is... This is just my day to day life. What what's the indie hole digging circuit like? Is it underground? Oh gosh, I mean it's extremely underground and it is chock full of sexual abuse allegations, just like the real indie music world. It's it's very interesting, but is it is it's like like the rock music? Ooh, I, oh yeah, it's some of that just dirty dank rock. You know what I mean? Rock music, rubble music. Um, really into stone music. Yeah, stoner metal, huge in the uh, this sort of underground world of indie hole diggers. Okay. So this is, I mean, this is a lot of insight to your career that, like, this is your day job, which I thought was, you know, podcast producer. But um, Yeah, no, do... this is my sort of passion. And that's sort of, when I'm gone for multiple weeks out of the year, it's usually from touring, mm-hmm. like I'm on tour. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, I I wanted to make sure that we addressed all of these issues before we moved on. But yes, William, to answer your question, you are um and this isn't from a medical's perspective. This is just sort of basic history and societal knowledge. Uh you are diseased. Um it's this isn't in the DSM-5 or whatever. This isn't in the psych books, but uh the psych books is that like psych? This is not a book. This is a tablet. I believe, well, I believe it's, you call it a book, but it's a DVD collection of all, is it all seasons of Psych? Or is that, is it just most plus, of them? Well, plus the movies as well. I came oh, out with the movies. Right, yeah. Yeah. In any case, William, no, you are not, uh, you're, you're not well. So. A well, coincidentally, is something that a, a hole digger could make. That is, I mean, I. You're getting into weird union stuff if you honestly want to break it down. I don't dig wells. People who are in the You don't well- dig well? Why'd you go to school for it then? I, 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 I ah! oh, he got you. He got you bad. I, 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 I see the I see the wordplay now, but it's just I really think it's important to stress so I don't get my ass sued that the Wellers Union and the Hole Diggers Union are two separate things. I do not dig wells. Nope. Someone's gonna call me a, a like I'm I'm bre- breaching. Oh, is that what that song is? The the Wellerman? Is that is that what that is that the union the union song? Uh, the again, I their whole union is so secretive, and so it's really more of like a like a lodge type thing. I would have would have no idea what their secret songs are. And I'm sorry. So the chat, the live chat that we have going is getting really upset about this union stuff with the oh wells and the holes. This is so. why I was trying to backtrack so quickly. Like I know that there's so many wellers in our listenership. Yeah. So, but okay. When, so whenever these big events come up, um, let's say that there's, there's any sort of big political thing or these so- social issues, these work employment issues with the wells and the unions, that would be an opportunity, from my understanding, for a comedian to make a topical joke. So could this be our window in? Yeah, sure. So, yeah. So, so William, let's say you are um, you're approaching this issue. You've got well diggers who I, I'm guessing are really, and Cameron, you can speak more to this, uh, but th- they're really all about finding the water, I'm guessing. Like, that's, that's their main thing. Well, I mean, there's different types of wells. Some wells, yes, are trying to tap into a lower water reserve. Some wells are just trying to catch rain and have a, to have a large supply okay. of water. I don't know. If a well digger starts digging basements for houses, does that mean they, are, they sell her out? Okay, we're seeing a lot of feedback in the... 
uh, a lot of different wordplay in the chat as well. Yeah, the listeners are liking the wordplay. So are you sure that you're a bad comedian? Because you were just knocking it out of the park here with some of this stuff. Uh, but I'm doing jokes about your life and your profession, not about mine, which was the original problem. Do you have this problem, Cameron? Do you have this problem? Ooh, DJ Dylan? Nope. So, no, Cameron, j- j- to answer that question, you've spoken a lot about your own life and your own problems but i would argue none of it has been comedic you've just been addressing your very real issues yeah well Uh, and for me to like just complain and bring up these issues when my grandmother my grandmother you know she worked her damn ass off she walked two miles what so this is a callback to gardner syndrome which i love that you're doing this now because you haven't you i feel like you don't picture with oh you know what gardeners do they dig yes (laughs) oh we well, got you again. Is that a different union? Yeah, I mean that's a completely different union. They're not. They shouldn't be digging. If they didn't contact some one of us, then that is a breach of sort of protocol. But it's fine. Okay. They so have it's... the little shovels. They oh oh, you're talking about just uh, just a tiny little dig. They're allowed to do that. It's just anything over three inches. You got to have okay. someone who's actually. Oh, I think your grandma said that, right? I heard your grandma saying something about over three inches. Oh, 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 the chat is going wild over that she one. She would work her damn ass off. She would walk two miles to her job, 12 years old, finish a, finish a pop quiz test, finish PE, had to play dodgeball Wait. and go, what? I lo- No, I just love this because you were once again tying into Gardner's Syndrome because 12 years old is, of course, the age that Gardner's Syndrome patients will get their, their sigmoidoscopies. Oh, yeah, for sure. I l- because I and William, I gotta clarify for you. Normally, Cameron seems to be just heckling the medical lesson. Normally, he just chimes in with something stupid, unrelated. Yeah. But today, everything has been a callback to the lesson. Oh yeah, it was his grandma and grandpa, which are related to him. Yeah. <laughs> they oh, would, got you again. They work their they work their damn asses off, Doctor London. They would walk two mi- two miles from work. The teacher was yelling at them at, at class. You, what, what's wrong with your grades? Wait, 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 wait. They're going at work or at school? I don't understand. They were walking they're working f- at school. They're walking from school to work, but their school is also it's another it's a different target. Okay, I think I understand. Not a super. And target. his grandparents, Great. his grandparents were twelve years old in the early two thousands. Well, I mean, technically, yeah. all of our grandparents were twelve years old at some point. Yeah, in the early two thousands. I would say yeah. all of our grandparents were about 12 in the early 2000s. Roughly. Yeah. 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 Well, and when you think back to that time, Blink-182, uh, Green Day, and, you know, like, kind of like mid-level Weezer stuff. Oh, speaking of Green Day and Gardner Syndrome, Dookie, the album of Green Day. Yeah, that would have been, I think, maybe my great-grandparents, because that would have been, like, 94. So great-grandparents or great-great-grandparents. I can't really remember. It's a little, gosh, that was so long ago. (laughs) My great-great-grandpa, let me tell you, he used to walk three miles every single day just to go to Kmart. So does that mean you're there? Because your grandparents, great-grandparents, three miles, grandparents, two miles, parents, I'm assuming, one mile. Which place, do you live in a super target? Is that where you are these days? Oh, uh, am I allowed to say? I just don't want someone else to take my home. Oh, okay, I just doxed let, you. I'm so let, sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm let so me sorry honestly. It's, you live on the it's hard not to no, dox. No, him. Honestly, I, as long as I don't mention what department I'm in, I feel like I'm safe, right? So yes, I am at a super. I'm at the Super Target on Northwest Highway in Dallas, yeah. Texas. Absolutely. And your grandparents are they are they still with us in the sense of working at the Super Target? Oh, no. I mean, they all died of old age. Okay. On the same damn day. I, okay, I'm i sorry for your loss, but also that's... How? Oh, no. It was, it, was a, it was a plane. Oh, but their old age made them choose to get on that plane? Is that... How, how are you not getting this? It was a plane that was like the beach and old, and it caused already old people to age even faster okay. until they all dissolved into dust. <sighs> this is a, this Jesus, a man. Yeah. yeah. No, that's on me. Um, you know, I, we're covering so much ground here at such a rapid pace. I just feel like the time has come 
for us to um we we've been neglecting some chores. All right, do you do you want me to explain what the hell you're even t- you're talking nonsense, Doctor London? What what is he even talking about these chores? So, Dr. London and I have unfortunately been neglecting everything on our to-do list for quite a while. We've been busy, right? I can't find my shoes, you can't find my socks, and that alone has sort of taken up a lot of our time. That's, that's why I went to Scotland. One of the reasons was to find your socks. And you found one of them. That's what, that, I think that makes me madder than if you had found both of them. In any case, Dr. London and I put together this fun chore wheel that we spin every single week, and whatever chore, whatever task it lands on, we have to do it. So actually, William, uh, would you mind giving this chore wheel a spin, uh, if if you wouldn't mind the honor? Yeah. Go ahead. Just go ahead and just... (laughs) And there it goes... It's slowing down, and then it's speeding. How does it do that, by the way, where it slows down, speeds back up, well, oh. and then slows down again? No, DJ Dylan put a motor in it. Um, he said oh, that okay. this was the most boring part of every episode. So. Oh, is the spinning? Yeah. We got to do this chore, and I can't believe it landed on Ugh. this one. Ugh, we have to do it. But we've got to come up with the Jock Doc calendar. Okay. So every year we put together just a typical 12-month calendar each month with its own, you know, picture or theme or whatever on it. And uh, we've kind of been lazy about it this year, but we got to come up with the 2023 calendar spread. Yeah. Well, it's the chore was actually made for 2022, but we took so long to get to it that, yes, it has rolled over. And this year's calendar is sort of just, it has the wrong dates, basically. We, we had to- for this year's calendar, mm-hmm. we sent all of, everyone who had bought, a previous calendar we sent them a link to a google calendar yeah just calendar.google.com so it has their own schedule in there which is pretty useful i think yeah no and it only costs two hundred dollars a piece sorry one hundred ninety nine ninety nine a piece <laughs> for each for each month yeah but how many pieces <laughs> is, is that much money for one piece and then a piece. And then how many pieces? Well, there's are one 12 calendar? months in a year, 12 so pieces? that's 12 pieces. And then each month has 30 times days. The, yeah, so the that's days 30 extra pieces. So I guess it would just be 30 times 12, which is obviously 360. Uh, yeah, I should clarify there. Our calendars have 30 days for each month because we thought it was too complicated to change the number of days. We rounded up mm-hmm. and rounded down yeah. accordingly, just sort just of flattened it simplify out. Simplify it. Yeah. You, you flattened by rounding? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. It's look, okay. geometry wasn't my best subject. It was my best subject, and that's why it's so easy for me to to sort of flatten via rounding. Yeah. Okay, so for January, I'm thinking I'm out. I like to do sort of those, you know, there's this, the Christmas in July kind of thing. Uh-huh. So, um, I like to do pictures of myself, uh, just uh, you know, in swim trunks in the snow. Uh, oh wow so it's like christmas in january yeah i like the chris I, I i have a pitch though okay what if you what if you're dressed as santa and but santa is exhausted right because he just he was so busy in the month of december so santa santa is laying in bed with a cigarette shirt off <laughs> it sort of looks like he just had sex and it's sort of like a post-coital relaxation moment because for him, delivering presents. Yeah. I mean, his sack gets so heavy over the year, and then it's finally yeah. empty. I can feel like, yeah, I dig it. I mean, what do you think, Doctor? You're, you'd be playing Santa. It would be your sack on display here. Yeah. No, and I, I know that's the, the policy written out in the contract that I sign every year. Your sack on display is the wording. Um. That's a slogan to this podcast. Yes, right? I well, it's London sack on display. Yes, yeah, and it's it's one of those phrases that always works, and you rarely have to bring in context to make it make sense. Uh, well, yeah, yeah that, I mean, you we've talked before about your past career as a quarterback. You spent a lot yeah. of years doing that, and then, yeah, yeah, there was football. a lot of sacks on display because sorry, playing we, soccer, America. Uh, just yeah, not American football. You were very slow and you were constantly being sacked. But I mean, mm-hmm. I think that covers January, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's uh yeah, that's just me dressed as Santa post-coital with a cigarette. 
That's right. All right. So February. What's uh? What's what's going on in Feb Februarys? Hmm. Well, it's another cold month. Uh, everyone is lonely, feeling alone, and uh, reminded of how alone they are. Is oh yes, that's I remember my understanding that. of it. Yeah. yeah, I do. I do remember when that month comes around thinking about how much no one likes me. yeah i remember like february comes around i think about how much people don't like me then like march comes around and i think about how much people don't like me then like april uh i think about how much people don't like me okay so we got a lot to work oh, with wow yeah in april too i feel like in april i usually take a break but then i mean when we get to may just right back in it right back in mm-hmm. the the heat of it okay so but hey, guys, you're all getting ahead. February is the month of no one liking us. So, um, and is this is this me for all these pictures, or does it vary? Well, I mean, I think you're sort of the face of the podcast. Yeah. But I mean, we can mix it up. It does say here that on February 4th, that's Rob Cordry's birthday. So could you sort of be dressed like Rob Cordry? Yeah, wear a bald cap. Yeah, I and, guess that's uh, all it would be. <laughs> but that way you're sort of not you. But yes, you're going to be in, in yeah. all of these photos. Okay. And I guess like maybe I'd I'd wear a printout of his IMDb page just to identify me. Yeah. Or even maybe you're just in a hot tub, like hot tub time machine or whatever. Okay. Yeah. With like a cigarette, poor cordially. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You're exhausted because yeah. it's your birthday <laughs> and you've been traveling throughout time so much via this hot tub. Yeah. And so you're sort of just hanging out with a cigarette, just sort of exhausted as Rob Cordry, and also reflecting on how alone you are. Yeah. Because it's the month of being alone. Yeah. So that's February. Great. Yeah. Um, okay. March. March. So we're still alone, and uh, weather's turning slightly. It's well, March is like a command, right? It's like March. That is true. Yes, it's the only month okay. that is also a command. So, I mean, it, I mean, I I think marching band—that's what sort of first comes to mind. Okay. And when I think of marching bands, I think uh, a cigarette. Uh, oh, wow. Voice yeah, because you've got that baton guy. He's basically carrying a giant cigarette, just sort of like hoisting it up and down. So, so I'll be wear I'll be holding a novelty size cigarette, and. Uh, just lounging in my marching band attire. Yeah, maybe uh, a parade is sure. still going on in the background. And yeah, yeah, or like even I'm in the middle of the parade and stopping it. Like there are people a little bit ahead of me who are still marching, and the people behind me are mad at me. Yeah, because that's maybe you're that being arrested me a lot in March because you're holding up yes. this parade. Yeah, so I've I'm holding onto the cigarette, but it's behind my back as my arms are being twisted and I'm on the ground post coitally being beaten by oh yeah and then we can have maybe sort of a political message about how people discriminate against handsome white doctors yeah police constantly are discriminating against sort of that demographic so i think that's good for marge and it has a a political a very relevant political message Mm -hmm. for Uh, 2023 yeah so i mean should we just start combining months yeah at this point sure because all the months most of the months are the same stuff, really. Yeah. So let's do April through October. Yeah. Because nothing, yeah, nothing happens in there. So ma- that'll that'll just be one big. Yeah, I mean, when that's I, Halloween. When we're I think we're all of, thinking of Halloween in April. Yeah, when I think of April through October, I, <laughs> I think of old Hollow's Eve. I mean, just the spooks and the goblins and the ghoulies. And just sort of all of these things going. Uh-huh. How far? How far do you walk when you trick or treat? Oh gosh, I don't have to walk because I'm already at the Target, and that already has as much candy as I need. People get really yeah. pissed when you trick or treat at Target while they're shopping, though. I don't know why people get so mad about it. Well, just because you usually take their wallet and then say like, "Well, that's the trick." What? Give me the treat, yeah. and I'll. I'm not gonna have to take your wallet. This is the yeah. system. Like it, it's a pretty, like straightforward no, st- system. Yeah. yeah, 
Yeah, so uh, Halloween, April through October. Yeah. We're thinking... I'm thinking um, Frankenstein. I'm thinking he's tired. He spent all day doing his Frankenstein stuff, just walking around, being afraid of fire, all that. He's exhausted. So he's smoking a cigarette. So still cigarette? Yeah, smoking a cig, just sort of hanging out. Is he, is he afraid of it? Because it's on fire? Oh, yeah. Wow. I'd have to think so. Yeah, That's... he must be... That must be so difficult to have a nicotine addiction. He's addicted, but he's so scared, it's, of, it's he's like scared a, of his addiction. Uh, 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 oh, no. Constantly. Poor Frankenstein's monster. He needs a cigarette because he's so scared, but the cigarette is what's causing it. That's, that's its own... Oof. That... Okay, this kind of works out that we're combining all these months because, yeah, that is multiple months, sort of like an animation, like, flip book. Yeah. Because there's so much the, going on in him reacting to this and the, yeah. cigarette. And so just so page April, after page, yeah. April, he's okay with it. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't put it too close to his face. And then it's like April, May, June, his, his July, eye gets August, to, yeah. September... October and then yeah. he's at the scariest in October and it's it delivers a good message too because you know one thing to remember about Frankenstein is uh, those lungs were a donation and he's abusing them with the smoking so uh, this is you know some organ donor d- d- died and gave it up oh. and so this is a message well, to and it's just like to be given the opportunity of a second life like that and to yeah. not take advantage Respect of it, it. And that's why I've uh, always was, hated Frankenstein's monster. It's like, you've been given this second life and you just walk around going, Brr. no, what? Yeah. You should be on vacation. You should be learning a hobby. Learning I'm sorry, how and, to do pottery, Dr. London. I'm sorry, now I'm on a rant. Yeah, well, and I got it. I'm about to go on one of my own because actually I went to school for this and no, it's actually Frankenstein's doctor. Denied. Oh, yeah, it is. It's Frankenstein's doctor. That's that's who who does this stuff, so... Um, anyway, so Frankenstein's doctor smoke a cigarette, scared of it. Yeah. Uh, and then um, October, November. Oh yeah. Uh, so November, December, and then all of 2024. That can be one page. Yeah, that's that's easy enough. Um, so still only 30 days. Uh, yeah. Because we're rounding, right? Oh yeah, I guess so. All of 2024 is just going to be within the 30 day period. That is also. De- November and December of 2023. Is that is that? I think that follows the rules that are simple. Set. Yeah, easy. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's streamlining this whole process in the simplest. It's way. a leap year, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we're leaping over it. That's how that works. Yeah. So okay, so we just don't have to do it then, because it's a leap year. Oh, that's true. So we can just end in October. Easy. Okay. Well, um, I think we got it. Uh. All right, so now we do have to destroy the chore wheel because, of course, these are all kind of laid out in a particular way. Um, do you want to, I mean, you've got that cigarette on you. Do you want to just light yeah, it on fire? So, which, and I want to tell our listeners, I don't. Uh, I, 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 I'm part uh, Frankenstein's doctor. If you light that on fire, I will get scared. Oh, yeah. okay. Put, yeah, put that out, Dr. London. You don't need to be smoking the entire yeah. show. I was going to say, I, so to our listeners, I don't normally smoke, but for these calendars, I, I don't know another way to do it. And, of course, we're not taking the pictures today. That's not scheduled for quite a while. But I have to have it here to help the process. Of- you don't smoke cigarettes, but you do smoke those stage cigarettes that have, like, like, a fruity vapor that everyone says tastes disgusting, but they have to do that in, like, L.A. or whatever. You smoke yeah. those frequently. Yeah. Well, I, honestly, I drink the vapor, too. Like, it's delicious. But, oh, um, wow. Yeah, you, you just go straight for the juice. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Anyway, I'm going to put out the cigarette on the, on the wheel. Oh, oh! oh okay. wow. It lit on so it, fire so fast. I'm, I am so sorry, William, for what I've just done. Uh, uh, okay. That, uh, oh, no, Dr. London, what have you done? He's our normal. guest. Uh, Frankenstein's doctor's reaction. Well, William, if okay. William, if you can calm down for a second, could you? I mean, could, do you have anything to like plug or know anyone's stuff that you can plug? Uh, uh, I know this guy who also is named William, who streams comedy on Twitch. Uh, William does streaming, uh, and he's actually funny. Uh, it's all on Twitch. William does streaming. 
Let's see. Uh, any social media for that? William does like William does IG is my is my Instagram. William does uh, Twitter is my Twitter. Uh, William does stand up is my my YouTube. So William does, and then the 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 platform in question. But William does streaming is where is where we do most of our comedy. We we look at our footage from shows, and I help other people be funnier than I could ever be. Uh, I guide people to a treasure I cannot possess. I believe that's a quote from Batman. And that's, I mean. William do, does Vimeo. William does Daily Motion. Yeah, William does OnlyFans. William does OnlyFans. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um. Right. Well, thank you so much, William, for being on the podcast. Uh. Thank you to our producer, Cameron. Thank you to the house. 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 Everyone is lonely. Everyone is reminded of how alone they are. That's my understanding of it. Oh, yes. I remember that. I do I do remember thinking about how much no one likes me. No one likes me. No one likes me. Yeah, I remember uh, February comes around, I think about how much people don't like me. Then, like, March comes around, and I think about how much people don't like me. Then, like, April, uh, I think about how much people don't like me. But yes, William... Uh, you are diseased. This isn't in the DSM-5 or whatever. This isn't in the psych books. But uh, uh, you are diseased. Uh, you are diseased. Now, you got something bad. You went to school for six years to learn to dig a hole. Oh, he got you again! Oh, he got you again!